Hello, everyone. Welcome to What's Right with the World. Today, we are talking about a very interesting episode that one of our clients recommended. So what do we got there, Ben? All right. So uh, this came, like you said, from one of your clients, uh, and I think it's great. It's from the BBC News. Um, My robot makes me feel like I haven't been forgotten is the title of the article. Uh, Basically, it is about um, shut-ins and elderly people uh, and housebound sick children um, who are being able to keep in touch with their teachers, family, and friends by the use of these robots. Um, You know, such things as like, uh, okay, Google and Alexa and and those sorts of things. Um, Zoe Johnson, 16, hasn't been to school since she was 12. She went to the doctor in in 2014 with a bit of a sore throat, and somehow that became an A&E, an accident and emergency. Um, The doctors diagnosed her with myalgic encephalomidal, I can't pronounce that, ME for short, (laughs) also known as chronic fatigue syndrome, a debilitating uh, illness affecting the nervous and immune systems. She missed a lot of school but was able to continue her studies with the help of an online tutor. But over the years, her real-world friendships disappeared because she's not well enough to see anybody. For the last three months, though, she has been taking classes alongside her former classmates using a telepresent robot called AVI. The small, cute-looking robot made Oslo-based startup No Isolation sits in the classroom and live streams video and audio back to Zoe's tablet or smartphone at home. She can speak through the robot and take part in lessons. How cool is that? So this is even another step further than what I was talking about. Uh, yeah, the um, and I saw the picture on that, and they've got this little robot thing sitting on a desk, you know, and it's just so she can actually be there in the classroom and interact. You know that I mean that that interaction with with, with kids is with other kids and socialization obviously can get lost in this day and age of technology for a lot of reasons, you know? So anything that, that has them interacting in a way, that's why like I, I, I have to remind myself that I like my son doing FaceTime <laughs> because right. at least, yeah. you know, at least he's live interacting with somebody and they can see him and he can see them. And it's, you know, they're, they're actually interacting in more of a, a real life way, you know, because this technology, it does, it secludes, we're always out. I mean, kids didn't stay home when I was a kid because like there was, you would be bored to death, you know, yeah. if you stayed home. So you went out and to, so you can interact. Now it's not so much like that. So. And um, even, I mean, the technology, you know, like the FaceTime um, stuff that you're talking about and not pe- keeping people isolated or bringing people together. I mean, this podcast really wouldn't be possible anymore without um, without this sort of technology. Right. So, I mean, the, the technology really, it's, you know, we're, we're so used to looking at the negative aspects of it. And, um, you know, and for, kind of rightfully so, there, there are certain dangers. When this stuff comes up and all technology generally moves faster than people are ready to handle it. So, you know, so it comes on and usually it causes some controversy because we're not good at it yet, you know, but um, as time goes on, if we keep looking, keep our, our focus on the solution and looking for the solutions and looking how to use this stuff for good um, and all of a sudden we start finding it and, and the true, I think, the true purpose of technology starts showing itself like us being able to reach people with the message that we have, you know, and, and especially with the little caveat of you being in Rhode Island and me being in Florida, you know, which is a, a nice little twist to it. But you've, you've got this, this little girl that didn't feel a part of because an illness and now she's feeling a part of because she's interacting in, in a school environment to the best of her ability. And that's, you know, that, that's a huge leap forward where this stuff can actually, I, I'm sure, you know, kids don't, a lot of kids don't want to go to school until they can't. All of a sudden, you know, it's, you know, because we've got that natural resistance and stuff like that. But 
you know, I'm sure this is a huge highlight for her. Yeah, definitely. Um, and, uh, you know, I just, um, and, and as far as the, uh, the elderly and shut-ins and, um, you know, connecting with family and stuff, um, obviously that's a huge, huge issue. I mean, um, you know, people have family all over the country, all over the world. And uh, when you're not able to travel to them, right you know especially if you're if you're elderly and and um especially for shut-ins you know um my grandmother who lived with me growing up uh was a shut-in she she didn't leave the house unless it was for a doctor's appointment or um a very rare occasion you know as she got older and um we didn't really have you know i didn't get my first iphone until a year after she passed and uh, Skype wasn't perfect and stuff back then. You know what I mean? So it was yeah. very, um, uh, I would have loved if she was able to, you know, live in the world today and, and connect you know, to people and yeah. And connect to people and talk to her, her son in Florida and all, all of that stuff. That would have been awesome. Yeah. And I, you know, I think the, the world is, shrinking in a lot of ways where it's through technology you know people can work from home like me you know I, I work from home so like if if I mean yes I wanted to be in Florida but if I want to move to you know the middle of nowhere where you know I just had to make sure I had an internet connection and I could buy a house for half the price of where you can in well populated areas you know that that's possible now so yeah, absolutely. It's, so you know when you're doing that and and job relocations and all that stuff it happens a lot more nowadays so you've got families spread out all over the country you know you've got one child here one child there and it's difficult to travel all around the country visiting everybody you know so i mean staying in touch with with a an interactive uh, situation really can keep you uh, better connected. So, and you know, this, this robot is obviously, we're kind of talking a lot about the, the, the day-to-day -day stuff that we're using and that's accessible to everyone. Um, but this robot just takes it to a whole nother level. Absolutely. Uh, to people that need a whole nother level. Right. Exactly. And that's, and that's what's <laughs> awesome. And the fact that we're going there and going to, to all of these new places that technology can bring us and, and making people not feel alone anymore, you know, yeah. that would have, that would have otherwise felt alone. And, um, Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> um, more technology. Yeah. More technology. <laughs> this time the bad, the bad, uh, well, bad usage by me. Um, anyway, so that's it for this episode. Uh, if you want to see a video of this episode, um, check it out on Patreon. Yeah, join us on Patreon, uh, patreon.com backslash Glenn Ambrose. Tons of exclusive content there. Uh, Glenn, are you having fun making the little videos that you're doing for Patreon? Yeah, yeah it's, it's neat kind of giving people a little um, inside view of me in my life, you know, kind of, because it just makes it a little bit more personal. And I like that. Yeah. You know? So, so hopefully people can feel a little bit closer to me, connect a little bit closer and, and feel more comfortable that, you know, I'm just, uh, just a guy like everybody else living my life and, and quite frankly, juggling a lot of things, you know, one of the, one of the biggest uh, excuses I hear is that, you know, my uh, life's too busy. I've got too much demands. Well, I'm a single parent. So do I, you know, so <laughs> it's, there's, there's a lot of demands and it's not always easy, you know, yep. but, um, but we can all do it no matter where we are in our life. Just start with one thing at a time. And I think that that's what Patreon and the videos and the exclusivity of all this stuff, it gives us an opportunity to show people that a little on a, on a whole new level. Yeah. And we're going to go more in depth on that, on the life lessons and laughter feed. We're going to do an episode just talking about uh, what we're doing over there. So check that out. If you want to support the show, it's the best way to do it. Thank you guys very much for listening. Uh, Glenn, anything else you want to say? And that's it. Thanks for listening and watching for those of you that are watching. And um, we'll talk with you soon. Mm -hmm.